right in the middle of a second date. And if you're just joining us, Ginger is on the phone and she wants to call a dude named Nick. They met at a bar and then hung out and went to go get pizza. And then they decided, let's go back to my place and split the pizza. Mm -hmm. Except his place had his roommate in it with another girl. So they couldn't go upstairs. Instead, they watched Netflix, split a pizza, and made out a little bit in the backseat of his car. (laughs) It's like high school all over again. It is. (laughs) At the end of the night, his roommate was like, oh, okay, it's all good now. You can come up to the place. And he invited her up and she said no. But they did end on good terms. I haven't asked the most important question yet, though, Ginger. Yeah? What kind of pizza was it? Yeah, good point. No, no, it is. Okay, don't hate me, but it was a Hawaiian pizza. Ooh. Oh, a lot of controversy over Hawaiian pizza. If you find another person who loves pineapple on pizza as much as you do, you need to lock it down. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm just asking because I'm hungry. Sounds good. (laughs) All right, we're about to give him a call. Any last words? Oh, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out with this. I listen to you guys every morning. Jubal Brick, I, I like, I love you guys okay. so much. Well, and this really means a lot that you're helping me out. Let's cool. call him and find out if he has anything horrible to say. Yeah. And then maybe hold your thanks till after that. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, I'm going to dial his phone right now. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Nick, please? Uh, yeah, this, this is Nick. Nick, what's up, man? How are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brook and Jubal in the morning. Uh, <laughs> no way. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, hey. What's up, Nick? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. I, I don't know why else we'd be on the phone and I'd be claiming to be Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning, a radio sound, show. Like, you sound like Jubal. It'd be a weird call to get if it wasn't for real. <laughs> I mean, are you guys calling to do like uh, like a second date or something like that? Yes. How did you Actually, know? Actually, we are. Is By any chance, the person who had you call is a girl named Ginger? What? Dude. Nick, what yeah, are you? Yes, it is. Was Nick. this like, <laughs> what is happening? This is this is good. Okay, so she actually said that she'd do this if I didn't call her back. Really? She's a huge fan of your show, and she said it. Like, I thought she was joking. She's like, if you don't call me, I'm going to put you on second date. <laughs> oh, no way. That's All right, awesome. well, was you it- didn't call her. Did you, is this just a test in? You didn't call her to see if she'd actually follow through? Because yeah. she did. <laughs> Uh, not exactly. It's a little bit more complex than that, but, um, uh, I don't know. I just didn't think that we necessarily had that much potential for, you know, the future. Wait, hold up. Why did you, why didn't you have potential? You know how these go. We have to figure that out. Uh, this is going to sound a bit bizarre, but she's kind of obsessed with you guys. What? And well, okay. So we got pizza. We were watching Netflix. Um, which I, I don't she probably meant it's kind of come funny she, my roommate had a girl over so we ended up in the back of my car yeah right. she We're, told us all that okay all right she also told us that she defines hooking up as making out i thought that was weird <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. Anyway, i think a lot of people define it that way she says you guys made out in the back of the car and then you invited her upstairs but she said no thanks and that was the end of the night this is so this i feel like this is so strange but she she really seems to be Like, she could not stop talking about you, Jubal. She was like, he's so funny, and, like, he always knows the right thing to say, and when I'm (laughs) in a weird mood, like, he's just got, he just, like, I'd love to meet a guy like that. There's just never an awkward silence. He just knows exactly what to say, and, like, there's never awkwardness? Are you sure she's talking about the same (laughs) Jubal that is in this room right now? That's what makes him funny, though. I promise you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, yeah. So should I be scared? Dude, she stalks you on your Insta. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. So again, should I be scared? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you like that kind of thing. Not really. I prefer people to kind of not like me. You guys, I think. It makes me feel better. I think you aren't being, like, uh, she's just a fan. Like, she just likes listening to the show. The Instagram is public so that people can look at it. Like, that's the whole point. I've met girls the same thing where I'm even trying to be on a date and they ask questions about Jubal all the time. What's he look like? What's he about? He's so funny. And I'm like, I can give you a mask to wear next time. (laughs) Thank you. That would actually help, girl. So, Nick, is that the reason you're not wanting to call her back because she was, like, obsessed with the show or whatever? 
obsessed with you. And she kind of, she had yep. this kind of glazed up. She looked out the window, wasn't really even like looking at me, like as as if she was like, oh man, like kind of felt like she wished I was Jubal. And I was oh. like, oh, I'm a little. I can give you a mask too, Nick. I can yeah. give everybody masks, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you can learn some of his voices. Yeah. You know what? I just want to let Jubal be Jubal and I'll be me. And I think there's probably someone out there who might be right for me. And I might have just met the girl who's right for Jubal. Oh, I don't yeah. know. There <laughs> Is this a second date for Jubal, or is it a second date for you? I'm what so is, confused. Well, let's find out, and I, I'm scared to do this now. Yeah, and I can hear it in your voice. Nick Ginger is actually on the other line and wants to talk to you. I think you. you. Hi. Oh, poor Ginger. You're embarrassed, aren't you? I am. Like, oh, it's not... It wasn't like that. I wasn't talking about it that much. I mean, like, really? everyone knows Jubal's hilarious, right? Not everybody. I don't. <laughs> Not everybody does. Stop being so modest, cutie pants. <laughs> cutie <laughs> pants? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That that's is my the new first, nickname. I think. I mean, he does have nice jeans. Why can't we be Brooke and cutie pants in the morning? <laughs> I, I would like that a lot, <laughs> I think. Awesome. What's up with the CP? So, yeah. <laughs> Ginger, do you want to go out with Nick? I'm confused now. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did, but he wasn't responding. But now I'm on the phone with you, so we can just talk. Oh, yeah. Ginger. Really? No, Ginger, I have a girlfriend, so mm -hmm. I'm good there. But, like, you know, if there comes a time when you don't, like, I'm around. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Ginger, well, don't do this. It looks desperate. Brooke, I've heard what you have to say. Don't worry. I, I can handle myself. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can handle myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. So, Nick, Nick, are you still on the phone? Yep. Oh, I'm not missing this. <laughs> He's like, Excuse me, I don't know what bleachers. to do with this now. <laughs> so, Jubal, I mean, I've followed you on Insta for a while. Uh, your girlfriends don't seem to last that long, so I don't. Oh. This one's not going to be around for a long time, right? Oh, no. That's messed up. Ginger, I, I will agree with you on uh, previous girlfriends. Yeah, it was a lot of turnover there, but this one is going to be around for a long time, yeah. I think so. I think I've heard you say that before. I, you might yeah. have, but I was lying then. I'm not lying now. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling the truth now, Ginger. It is hard to believe you at that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Jose is also there in the background. And I mean, oh, I love his laugh. It's so infectious. What? Wait, hold so, up, Ginger. No, are you not. just going to the like the backup plan already? You want to go out with Jose? I didn't say backup. These are, these are my morning men. I listen every morning. Oh, like, morning oh, men. Oh, my God. So wait, if I say no, are you going to go for Brooke now? You're not going to say no, Jose. No, I probably will. Yeah, you should just hit <laughs> Jose up. That is probably a pretty sure thing. <laughs> are you guys serious? Is there like a chance? Well, it depends. You, it depends. Yeah. You DM me on Instagram. Ginger, I'll are answer. you a, a female and do you have a pulse? <laughs> You have to say yes to those things. Well, those are my well then there so. you go. You should hit Jose up. God. Amazing. I mean, it's funny, but in all honesty, you were here for Jubal, and you were open about that. I don't think I'm down with all that, like being the backup plan. Not in public, but hit him up in his DM. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Come so on. <laughs> Wouldn't be the well, first time. I have some kind of morals, kind of. But, but thank you for listening, Ginger. Seriously, appreciate it. Always. Yeah. And I should probably ask this question to Nick. Would you like to go out with Ginger on a second date? <laughs> we will pay for it. Yeah, that's a no. Oh, yeah. That's a no. Yeah. Oh, come on. We can tell the story to everyone of how we were on the radio together and that's how we worked things out. Wait, Ginger, oh, wait. you're still so now like, you're, considering wait, a date with you'll Nick? Go, you'll go out with Nick now? You're still down to go out with Nick? I've been trying to go out with Nick from the beginning. Oh, my God. Okay. So this is confusing. <laughs> Ginger will go out with anybody. I don't see what the big deal is. It's just going out. It's not like all three of us are getting married. But how oh did, how did all three of us now become no, involved in this? That is her new oh, fantasy. On the show together, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> on the show, huh? Out, man. Nick, you have anything to say? Yeah, I don't think, uh, what is this, third or fiddle at this point is going <laughs> to work for me. It's just, a, you know, to my... Uh, he started his first oh, fiddle. You could have just texted me back. Yeah, you were first fiddle. Oh, that's a good Then point. I was second fiddle. Jose was technically third fiddle. Now you're first fiddle, but like Split. reheated. Yeah, there you I don't go. even know yeah. how you heat up a fiddle, but you know what I mean. Like, Man, I don't know about all these fiddles. I'm just worried that Ginger's going to be in our parking garage tomorrow morning. <laughs> no. Look, you know I love you, but you need to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm blocking her. I'm sorry, Ginger. Ginger.
<laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get a date with anybody oh, right now. Oh, Ginger. <laughs> but I'm sure we can find you yeah. someone to go out with. Good. Open up the text phone. 78592. I know it. <laughs> text in. 78592. Is anybody willing to go out with Ginger? Oh, my God. It's so amazing. We like to talk about innovators on this show from time to time. Hmm. And today's second date features somebody who did a very innovative move. I think they redefined Netflix and chill. What? Yeah, I don't understand how this happened. I read their email. We'll get to the Netflix thing in just a second. But first, let's meet our second dater. Her name's Ginger. What's up, Ginger? Hey, what's up? What's up? We don't even know what Jubal's talking about, but everybody's kind of impressed by you already, Ginger. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. It didn't start out as Netflix and chill, okay? It was weird. Yeah, but you didn't even really net... You Netflixed in a weird place. Anyway, we'll we'll get to that in just a second. (laughs) What's the name of the guy you want to call today? I want to call Nick. Nick, all right. And how did you meet Nick? I met him in a bar, but, like, he was really nice, and he pulled this kind of corny move on me. Like, he wrote on a BevNap, like, hi, I'm Nick, you're cute, and it worked. Yeah, that would work on me, too. (laughs) It's so simple. Well, you guys got to be forward But it's like, oh, my God, real human interaction. Exactly. Right? It was, like, straightforward. It wasn't some, like, gimmicky pickup line. It was just, like... Statement of intent. Boom. Did yeah. he put like a box on it? Like check yes, check no if you like to go Even out with me? Better. No, no, we're, we're not in middle school oh, anymore. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ginger, don't lie. You would have gone for that too. Yeah. Okay, probably. Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was cute. So anyways, we started talking. We were talking about what kind of movies we liked. We just really hit it off, you know? Cool. And we were having a good time, but it was kind of noisy in the bar. We decided to go split a pizza. We could actually, like, hear each other talk, you know, enjoy each other's company. Oh, so you guys, like, really hit it off. This is actually your date, then? Yeah, I know. Like, I don't know. Something just clicked, and we were having fun and talking to each other like people. Wow. Weird. Weird. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> odd. Right? Well, from a bar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys split a pizza, and what else did you do? Well, we went to go get the pizza, and while we're waiting, we're like, hey, so we get your pizza here. Here's like, we could go split it back at my place. I live a couple blocks away, and we could, like, watch one of those movies we were talking about and eat our pizza. And, like, I don't know. It just seemed like a good idea. I was on board. Oh, wait. He recommended that. I'm sorry. I didn't understand. Yeah, it was his idea. It was his idea to upgrade pizza at the pizzeria that pizza at his place with movies okay and and this is where the weird netflix thing happened it seems yeah yeah okay so we're walking with our pizza right and then he starts looking at his phone and apparently his roommate had dibs on the apartment and already had a girl up there oh Oh, no he beat him to the punch you're like i was gonna get some what's wrong with the roommate right i had a plan and i had a pizza and anyways so (laughs) He, uh, he was like, wait, I have a backup plan. It's kind of weird, but hear me out. So we sat in the backseat of his car and watched Netflix on his phone and ate our pizza. Oh, <laughs> shut up. That sounds like a good date still. It actually still sounds kind of yeah. fun, yeah. It was. It was like a nearing. He was just trying to make the best of a bad situation. You're like, well, you know, I promised you movies and pizza. We're Let's do movies and pizza. Cool. So how, I mean, you guys got it on in the back of the car, right? A little bit. A right. little bit. You either do it or you yeah, don't. yeah. I mean, I guess you could a little bit, but I, I'm hoping you finished everything up. Well, there was a lot of pizza back there and not a lot of room, so we made out a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. you didn't actually really hook up in the back seat. I mean, everyone has different interpretations of what hook up means. We were making out, and that's hooking up to me. Okay. So wait, was it all fun, or were there any awkward moments? I mean, aside from the car seat being awkward, right. it was it was fine. <laughs> and how did it end? Well, we were making out, and, you know, his roommate texts him and was like, hey, they're heading out. We can, you know, go up to the apartment now. And I don't know. I didn't want to seem thirsty. I was like, uh, we can save it for next time, uh, you know? Cool. Oh, so you turned him down going up to his place? I did. I didn't want to seem over eager or, like, easy, you know? Yeah. yeah, you're like, I'm a backseat type of girl, mm-hmm. not a real apartment type yeah. of girl. Yeah, okay? I will not go into your apartment, but I will do stuff in the backseat all day long. <laughs> what do you think I am? Well, yeah. Not all day long, for some of the evening. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hey, we pr- we're promoting what you're doing. Got it. How well, did everything end, then? I mean, you know, I said thanks for a good time. I, I He has my number. I, I said love to see you again soon. And I just haven't heard from him. What was his mood at the end of the evening? He seemed to be fine. I don't know. Like interested? 
I mean, he seemed kind of disappointed I wouldn't come up, but like, uh, I don't know. It seemed like we were going to hang out again. And how many times have you tried to get a hold of him since? I've sent him a couple texts. I don't want to be like smothering, but he should have noticed. Okay. Well, we'll play a song, then come back and call him and see if we can get you a second date, okay? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Hang on.